a little bit of kindness can go a long way. Today's PYP exhibition project presentation is all about that. These students wanted to inquire the effects of kindness, not only in those who receive it, but in those who practice it. Please enjoy today's PYP presentation, The Effects of Kindness. Sign of inquiry is an inquiry into kindness. Kindness is defined as the quality of being generous to others. The psychological definition is that it's a helpful action to other persons. Hello, I'm Brielle Busto and I am the, in the kindness exhibition group. So today I will be talking about the second line of inquiry, which is cultural aspects of kindness around the world. So, kindness is something celebrated all over the world. Many different places and countries do this in their own way. There is even a dedicated day for doing three or more acts of kindness. It is on November 13th when people hold the door open for someone, get compliments, and even hug them just because. So to begin, in Italy, people on December 10th, it is called Cafe So Special Day. So how this works is that someone comes in and orders their coffee. They get one for themselves and one for a stranger, the person behind them, the next client, or whoever comes in. They pay for both. And then the next person that comes in line orders their coffee, but it's already been paid for by the previous person. This, in my opinion, is a really generous thing to do. And it may be considered small, but that one small act can lead to a big change. So the next place I researched is in Japan, which is Omotenashi. Omotenashi is translated to mean hospitality. In Japan, there's no dedicated day of doing omotenashi. It's every single day of the whole year that someone does an act of kindness just because. In Singapore, the Ministry of Culture created a movement to help promote kindness between citizens, such as cleaning up litter, helping migrant workers, or giving your seat to someone in need. In Iran, citizens set up a wall of kindness to help set up a donation place for clothes, books, and food. In India, they have religions such as Hinduism and Buddhism that hold a high value of kindness and believe it is the most important interaction with another being. Being kind has been proven to have a biological effect on the person who commits the kind action. While we were researching, we had no idea being kind had an effect on the person who received it and on the person who did it. Being kind have, has effects of confidence, self-awareness, and even self-esteem. The acts of kindness can activate your brain region to make you have a, an even better mood. It can even reduce anxiety. Studies have shown that one of the of the most significant ways to get to get life satisfaction is to be kind. Hi, I'm Lola and today I'll be explaining my exhibition group's action. During our exhibition planning, we had many fun ideas for our action, but this one is the one that we liked the most. It was making a mural with tons of feathers with kind notes on them. Some of the kind notes could be you're beautiful or just something nice for a teacher or someone. We thought this was a very good idea because after school, kids could come 
with their families and take pictures with these wings. We also decided to add our hashtags and the Robinson School hashtags on the bottom so it could be more interactive for social media. Then coronavirus came and it kind of squashed our idea. So then we decided that we would discuss some ways we could be kind during the coronavirus like sending notes to friends, spending time with family, playing with our siblings, and more. I thought that it would be a good idea to make these masks for all of my friends and family so then they can stay healthy and stylish during the corona. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Alexandria and I want to share with you the skills that my group developed during our project. I think my group improved on many skills during this project, starting with communication and social skills. Because we really knew how to express our thoughts and ideas while listen, listening to each other, we also worked on organizing and learning a lot of information, which is part of our thinking and research skills. Even though we could not complete our action, my group proved to be very creative. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a global lockdown around the world. But even through this hard time, we have seen many acts of kindness. Our research has proven that kindness has no boundaries. We may think that other cultures have different customs and beliefs, but really every culture shows kindness. This pandemic has proven that no matter what part of the world you live in, all citizens have one thing in common, kindness.